Welcome my Pisces. This is going to be a reading for December 1st to December 6th, 2020. Thank you to all my current subscribers, all the views, all the comments. I don't get that many comments, but if you want to leave a comment, feel free. Um, there's no way this can connect to every single Pisces out there, so if it doesn't connect, hopefully you know your moon sign or your ascending sign, assuming this is not one of them, and maybe those will connect. So, if it doesn't apply, don't force it to apply. I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. So, if you do subscribe, if you hit the bell icon when you subscribe, then your phone will beep wherever you are when I upload two videos. So, that will be 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, wherever you are. So, keep that in mind. Alright, and I'm still upgrading the channel. I apologize. I'm trying to figure out all the new stuff. They have. It's just a lot of reading, a lot of stuff, but I want to make sure I do it right. Alright, so the first one we have for the Earth Wisdom deck is 13 Awareness. So this talks about having a really hard time. I'm going to go ahead and read it because just so I feel like I get what it's supposed to say more across to you. So Pisces, there are whole worlds that are unseen by ordinary awareness. You have the capacity for extraordinary awareness. Work on developing your psychic skills and pay close attention to your dreams. Things are not always as they seem and you will need all your senses, physical and metaphysical, in order to move forward. So this talks about a lot of you Pisces have psychic um, ability in you. And it's probably different on every Pisces. So it probably starts out at one level and it probably graduates throughout your life. But this is talking about whatever level a lot of you Pisces are on, you're aware of what is going on. And you must be aware how you can upgrade that too, maybe. So the next one is 17, which would be clarity. So clarity talks about your instinct, your... Let me read it again. It just talks about basically the answers are going to come to you. You're going to know things. And you may not even know why you know the things. But you're going to be given the answers you need. The universe is going to make sure. So here we go. So this says, Clarity requires the removal of unnecessary thoughts and combined with enhanced perception. Clear your mind of wounds and biases and open to the idea of seeing new connections with fresh ways of thinking. The result will be the ability to make what feels like genius level decisions no matter how apparently complex the situation. I love this. Clarity is going to make you be able to make genius-like decisions. That is superb. <laughs> I love that. Pisces is my moon. So, practical intuition. So let me find this one too, just to be clear. So it seems like a lot of you have been really, really sad. You're going through some emotional stuff is already what I'm getting. When you raise your vibration, it could be difficult. So it says, developing spiritual abilities. Wow, these are all about your spirituality. Every single one, Pisces. Beautiful. Developing spiritual abilities is not the end of the journey. Just as the spring equinox heralds new life and new beginning. Oops, I just lost it. It's, edge is part, start of a deeper path. Through application of spiritual skills to creating blessings in the world, we connect more deeply with spirit and gain wisdom. So, whatever just happened lately elevated your vibration, I feel, Pisces. You could have went through a dark night of the soul, a dark time where you were sad, but this, basically, these are three spiritual psychic cards right there. So... Yeah, wow, is all I can say. A lot of you have that in you, and I don't know if you're aware of it, but this is telling you you have it, and it's getting heightened, is all I can say. So you have the blue moon here, so it must have started on the blue moon. You have the regular moon here, and then you see the spiral, and there's three little things in there spiraling around. So I feel like abundance is coming to you like threefold, is what I feel. I don't see how it can't be. You have 13, 17, and 3 right there. So that would be 4, 8, and 3, if that means anything. Unless you want to keep them whole, it's up to you. So now I'm going to start with the uh, Mystical Cats Tarot deck. So these will be Oracle, which Oracle is more direct one answer. Over here will be the Tarot cards. The Tarot cards are more um, 
reading into them. They're more explanation with just one word. So they can be interpreted different ways, where the oracle are usually one way. It could be different sometimes. So this is a tower right off the start. Ow, Pisces. So something sad happened to you. I feel like your life changed. Something fell apart. Something has got emotional for you. Yes, that is... So something is changing. Look at this, the Hermit. So this is Virgo placement for those of you who may have Virgo. I do feel like you're retreating from other people. You're kind of staying by yourself. You're going to heal yourself by being alone because that way you can sort out your thoughts and what your life has been without the input of other people's opinions into your brain waves is what I feel is why you do it alone. So then Ace of C, this is true love. This is love. This is nice. It's the tower, clarity, which would be the same as this. This could be clarity because a Virgo can usually make a decision without second guessing themselves in a half a second. It just comes that fast, the psychicness. So maybe the intuition is going to kick in and you're going to be able to be more decisive. Um, and it probably the tower could be that people are falling away from you. When you have psychic abilities, people do notice, whether you want to think they notice or not. So if you feel like people are treating you different lately, that could be why. When you upgrade your level of um, intuition, people notice and they'll stay away from you. And they don't even know, but their subconscious does. So this is Two of Sky. This is you making a decision about something. And I feel like you came out of a dark time that was probably, I'm going to say like five years or more long. You see the tattered... Um, signs here. The cat has his head turned, so I feel like you're going to make a decision, but you already know what decision you're going to make. And look, you're turning towards love. So I don't know if a new love is coming towards you. So this is saying four of earth. This is somebody who is very selfish. They took and took and took. And look at everything they could have taken from you. And I'm talking about time, feelings, tears. There's a lot of not good stuff somebody took or placed in you. It's like they kept, they gave you all the yucky emotions and they just took all your happy emotions and piled them up behind them. While they just made you very sad and broken is what I'm feeling from that. So this is Sea Kitten. This is somebody who is very immature. Very immature. So this is Fire Kitten. This is taking chances playing with fire. This is somebody who just does bad things or however they hurt you in the relationship, they've done it before you. There's a lot of people, it's what they do. It's their MO. So four of sky is you retreating, you want to heal. So you're off by yourself and you're sleeping a lot. You we had the loner card, clarity for the Virgo, and now you're just healing by sleeping a lot. Which is good because the divine is all around you, trust me. So the Emperor could be Aries placement, this could be a boss, a CEO, self-employed business owner, but most of all, this is a narcissistic person. I feel like the person who hurt you, Pisces, was a narcissistic, I can't say the bad word, but you know what I'm thinking. That's horrible. So, Ace of Earth. So this tells me that they get, told you they were going to give you abundance, but because the mushrooms are in here, they gave you an illusion. It was an illusion. They made you think you were going towards abundance. Wow, he's pretty proud sitting there, isn't he? So Seven of Sky tells me that this person took when you weren't looking. Like I said, whether it's your time, your love, they took something every time you had your head turned. So three of fire is you asking the universe why this happened. You're, happened. You're like, why? Why does this happen? Why did I have to go through that? You, you raise your vibration by going through this, for those of you who did go through it. So ace of fire is ace of wands. So this would be somebody who is ready to protect themselves, ready to, they're done with all this negative energy, this uh, tower moment people taking. This is somebody standing their ground saying, halt, we're done. We're done with this. You're done doing that behavior to me. So six of C is a lot of crying. This is not just you crying. This is a lot of crying. This is other people crying too, which is kind of odd. 
So cat magic has to do with you manifesting what you want to bring to you. You see you have a paw on the book and you have a paw on the sphere. So this is you are trying really hard to bring your dreams to you. And all I can say is if you're this psychic Pisces, you can totally do this. You have the power to do this. If you are all this, you can bring all this to you. And you can work on this for those of you who want to go there and don't feel like you're there. But I'm saying you all are there. We're just all on different levels. So the world, beautiful. This says that you are gonna, your life is going to change. It's going to be more in tune with you. I mean, the magic card in the world, that is just beautiful. You have manifested a change. You have. It's coming. So this card confuses me. I don't know if you're going to be sad because you're getting ready to leave. How do I say this? I feel like you're getting ready to possibly change geographical locations, kind of what I see in this and the little thing in there. Um, that people are going to cry that you have manifested your future and you're moving away, Pisces. There's going to be a lot of sad people to see you go. Wow, Pisces. So the priest. This is the divine supporting you. you got the black cat bast in there. And again, you have your paw on a spear. My goodness, Pisces. You have no idea. I just want to cry right now because... My Pisces is moon, and I've been feeling a, something coming in. So this is all spiritual, and then look at this. This is the same thing. A lot of you Pisces are psychic, and you don't seem to know it. You need to go. I, you don't need to. You have free will to do whatever you want. There are many channels on YouTube to go try and educate yourself and try to learn what your skill level is, because this is saying, wow. And I have felt... Like, because the world is getting really, really harsh, I have upgraded my protective prayers, my um, meditation prayers, exceptionally. I can't even believe how I have. And my dreams, I get connection in dreams. I wake up, and there are things in my head. A couple mornings ago, I had something in my head when I woke up. I tell everyone to keep a dream journal, a moon journal, and a birth chart journal. And when I woke up, they had put in my head what was in my head or what I was supposed to Google. And when I Googled it, I was pretty shocked at what came up. I just looked at it going, how can this pop into my head when I wake up in the morning? How can I be sleeping and wake up? And they've been waking me up at a certain time, I'd say for the past two weeks now. And since I started the new um, protection prayers, basically, I can tell the difference. So they wake me up and I have a new idea or thing in my head every morning. So my dream journal or wake up journal is getting very big. I mean, I woke up, I'd say three weeks ago and I was repeating a certain word in my mouth and I'm just looking around going, why am I waking up saying this word? And then as I said, a couple days ago, I woke up with such a clear vision in my head on what to Google. So I must say for those of you too, there's lots of, um, things you should do, like the first thing when you wake up in the morning, it's best for you to put your feet on the ground and sit there for a minute to ground yourself before you do anything. Don't pick up your phone, even if you have the urge to, or your pen and paper. Sit up first, sit up straight, put your feet on the ground, and that grounds you with the earth. So do that first, and then get your dream journal out, or your phone, or whatever you want to do. But always ground yourself first when you wake up in the morning. There's lots of other things you can learn, too, to help you. So now we're switching to the... Um, uh, Tarot Illuminati. So look at this, the hero font. Oh my goodness, Pisces. I don't know how. I shuffled these cards and did a really good prayer and burned with sage. So this talks about could be marriage. This could be hierarchy in the spiritual realm. So some of you are hierarchy in the spiritual realm. Seriously, look at that. Wow. So Queen of Swords is somebody wanted to come to communicate with you and I feel like you're kind of on guard with somebody coming to communicate. Kind of weird that this came out in the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords could also mean I see like new beginnings in there. I see love. I see travel. I see again. I guess this could be a little bit of hierarchy 
in the um, spiritual realm too because she does have a cherub up there and this kind of looks like a really really specific crown bigger than the crown she has here almost like a gold crown so I do feel like this represents your hierarchy in the spiritual realm Pisces so two of wands means that you have a decision to make you are going to be met with making a choice of something Excuse me. So Five of Cups is somebody feeling ghosted from you. You recently, I feel, moved away from one or two or more people and they're feeling it. So yes, they are. They are praying. They miss you and they want you back in their life. So Five of Wands. This is jealousy. And I think we had this before. Gosh, it's weird my nose is running all of a sudden. So this talks about... Because you're at a spiritual level and a heightened, if you're hierarchy, the younger energies are going to feel it and know it, and they're just going to be grouchy and angry and jealous, and they're not even going to know why they feel that way around you. But it's going to be very evident to you, and they're just going to, that's what they feel. So let me put it this way. If you feel like you are not in the norm, and there's people who just clash with you for no reason when you're a very nice, kind-hearted person, this is why, because you are hierarchy in the spiritual realm. You have intuition, and people feel it and know it, whether you want to believe they do or not. Here's your, here's your card. This is the moon, Pisces. So this means that something could be coming known to you. Something from these lower energies could be being known to you, is what I feel. They're going to let something slip that you're going to find something out about some of these people. So judgment, ouch. So this is the universe noticing these people and how they hurt you, Pisces. And they're going to have karma. And I don't even like to say that because I, I'm no way in charge of karma. I just read the cards. But somebody's getting karma for hurting you, Pisces. Six of Cups is victory. You're going to have victory moving away from these people and having success without these people in your life. Bravo. Look at this Ace of Swords. This is love. Somebody wanting to marry you. Somebody wanting to, it could be somebody from your past wanting to rekindle with you. And then the next one is the sun. This is the happiest card in the deck. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. This is just a, such a good reading. Oh, my nose. So blame. I, I accept responsibility for my well-being. So a lot of lower energies are going to blame you, Pisces. I can tell you right now. You've probably got blamed for a lot of stuff in your life because haters, frenemies, people who are jealous, who want you to do all the work, but they want to reap the rewards of your work. So a lot of blame going on there from other people. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with a insight of awareness. Awareness has to do with your spirituality. I feel like a lot of you are denying your spirituality and... Hopefully this is your awakening video to realize your talent. Um, it's not really, it is a talent, but it's a skill. It's something you were born with. It's in your um, DNA and your family. So the next one is acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. And this is healing and this is the lotus flower where we all want to be. So I do feel like you're accepting that there's lower energies. You're accepting people blame you. You're accepting people are jealous and envious of you. You are understanding that. So that is good. Because it will help you heal when you understand. You just accept that some people are just going to be hateful and negative and never raise their vibration. And they will forever be jealous of you. The people who are not like you and see the good in you and can never achieve what you have achieved will always be jealous and envious of you and blame you. So just accept it and move away. You don't need them in your life. Wow, 16 inner desires. This is the calorie shell, Pisces. i got to hurry this to shut off. So this is abundance. Set some intentions. This could be abundance coming into you. Um, Wow, beautiful. And the next one is Disengage from Outcomes 48, the Orca Whale. That tells me to disengage from negative people. If they try and put their negativity on you, you leave it wherever they tried to put it on you. Don't take it in your car. Don't put it in your head. Leave it wherever those negative people put it on you. Leave it right there where they put it on you. Don't get in your car if somebody's rude in a grocery store. Leave it there before you get in your car. 
Hermit, Virgo placement, retreat and recharge. This is how you make yourself strong. I think we had this right here. This is how you make yourself strong. This is Virgo up here. You have Virgo here. You have pretty much three Virgo cards saying you have the power to recharge yourself and make yourself continue the spiritual constantly. It's with you all the time. You just have to learn to control it. Meditating works really, really good. Really good. So snake, shed old skin. So this talks about people around you who are not nice, not beneficial for your growth, not beneficial for your spiritual leveling. And so you have released those people, I'm going to assume, and that was what you're supposed to do. So anybody who's left your life recently, it's because you're upgrading and they were not beneficial to your upgrading your ascension. So the, the universe will remove them from your life. So this was a really good reading, Pisces. Um, bless you, Pisces. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please try and educate yourself on your spirituality. This is very blatantly obvious to me, and I hope a lot of you Pisces um, take note of this. Remember, a dream journal, a birth chart journal, and a moon journal will help you so much. Thank you, Pisces. Bless you, Pisces.